Good morning, everybody. My name is Brett Least, and I am teaching the KHP 340 Principles of Athletic Training online this semester. Guys, I'm just going to give it to you real quick. Um, this, uh, this, is, this sucks because this class is mainly a hands-on class. So, obviously, I'm going to be doing majority of this online, and I'm going to give it to you guys the best I absolutely can, okay? So, with that being said, I usually go over my expectations the first day of class, and, you know, it's, it's basically this is the first time any of us has been through this, especially myself. So, we're going to do the best we can this semester. The biggest thing I want you all to do is communicate with, uh, with me, okay? Uh, with that being said, the best way, I'm looking at your syllabus right now, so if you want to go ahead and pull up your syllabus, this is a real quick just overview of what's going to happen this semester. I'm going to kind of give it to you. Best way to communicate with me, guys, is obviously my email. I have two different emails in which I can be reached here, but I will not be on campus. Um, I do not have an office. I am a part-time instructor. Um, I'll go over a little bit about myself in just a second, but the best way to reach me is with these emails that are provided. As far as like attendance and stuff like that, guys, we are doing all of this pre-recorded. I am not doing any kind of Zoom where you have to log in and then I take attendance and things like that, okay? I've got a life to live and it's not that I want you to basically, you know, delegate what you should or shouldn't be doing. But that being said, I, I do know that you have different classes and things like that, but I'm going to try to give this to you, this information to you as best as I possibly can so you can retain it because I do like... Uh, how we go through the principles of athletic training and that's just not if you're going into the profession of athletic training but if you're going into physical therapy PA any kind of healthcare provider personal training doesn't matter all this that I want to teach you this semester I want you to retain with you and it takes basically take you take it with you okay so a little bit about our course objective objectives I'm gonna go through just like what the syllabus says I will post a video depending on what topic we were on that week. I go through the history of athletic training first. You got to bear with me because the first four lectures are going to be a little on the history side, basically going over some anatomy. If you haven't had anatomy yet, don't worry. <clears throat> but it's just going to basically going over that, some injury prevention things. But when we get into lower injury and things like that, when we start going over our special test, and you ask yourself, what is a special test? I am going to teach you how to recognize if an ankle is sprained, if an ACL is torn, if a shoulder is dislocated, things like that. I am looking at everything practically. As you go on into whatever profession you're going into, you will realize that you will learn 50 to 60 special tests for a given joint, and then you will only actually use four of them, okay? That is why I like to break it down realistically. A little bit about myself. I used to work for the University of Kentucky Sports Medicine for five years. I did my undergrad at Eastern Kentucky University, and I majored in athletic training, became a certified athletic trainer. Then I went to Marshall University in Huntington, West Virginia, and was a grad assistant there for two years in Division I athletics. At University of Kentucky, I mostly did clinical work where I was basically side-by-side -side with our top orthopedics and some little outreach to Henry Clay High School. So it's like I got to see the best of both worlds as far as like Division I general population and still looking at high school athletics. I've been through a lot of injuries. I know there's a lot of athletic trainers that have way more experience underneath their belt just because they're older, but I did get a lot of experience of what I did, and I have been teaching this class since 2013. I feel, like I said, me growing up and going through all this stuff, I was once an injured athlete myself. It, you look at everything practically and I, I want you to realize like there is a time with these athletes and these patients that there is a, a life after sports so we look at everything <clears throat> basically what are you gonna do for the rest of your life are you gonna sit there and dwell over an ACL tear we're gonna get back into it recognize it and then get you better for whatever profession that you're going into that's the kind of stuff that I want you all to learn all right that other being said, I'm trying to think, if you guys have any kind of um, paperwork that you need to give me as far as accommodations, be sure to email those to me. Again, these are all going to be pre-recorded lectures. How I do it is I'm going to post your PowerPoint and your files the day before I actually post a video. So that way you will open up your PowerPoint and then basically follow along with me, okay? If there is any problems with that, be sure to email me and communicate with me ASAP, all right? Again, this is not going to be one of those Zooms um, 
at the time of class you're going to log in okay i will be posting every tuesday and thursday just as if we were in class okay you are going to i'm scrolling down here uh if you're looking at grading procedures course assignments attendance it says it's worth 20 points guys obviously we're not going to have attendance because we're not going to be on campus but uh i am going to have two quizzes throughout the semester i do have five assignments those two right there are worth a bulk of your points okay these assignments, they're all opinion-based. They're real-life scenarios that either happen to me or my colleagues. Make sure you get them done, okay? I give you literally a week to do it. They're worth 10 points apiece. Make sure you get them done. With that being said, I, obviously this is pre-recorded. You have me saying this on camera. I give you a week to do it, okay? Make sure it's getting done. You guys are in college. Do it. Set an alarm. Don't come up to me or don't email me uh, the, the night before and was like, ah, I was having computer, computer problems. Literally, these... Just get it done, okay? Uh, obviously, your midterm, that's going to be worth 100 points. We'll cross that bridge when you get there. Uh, final exam, worth 100 points. And you see, I have practical one and practical two. I have two times allotted at the end of the semester. I do not want you guys emailing me, asking me, what are we going to do? We will cross that bridge when we get there. I have to see what's going on, and do I, I, I got to figure out the safety of you all, okay? Obviously, all right? Um, I know some of you all are already on campus and have professors, but I just want to make sure that we're doing everything the correct way. If for some reason we don't have our practicals, and practicals meaning everything that I teach you as far as special tests, I'm going to bring you into a uh, room in Seton. You'll come in as a partner, with a partner, I'm sorry, and you will basically perform those special tests in front of me, okay? Um, We'll just, we'll, we'll just see how the semester's going, guys. If for some reason we don't get to those, I'll put another assignment to, to basically fulfill those points. But as you can see, there's not a lot of points, so just make sure you get stuff done, all right? Again, communication is the biggest key. On Thursday, I will be posting a lecture over the intro of athletic training, and we will go from there. In the meantime, I'm going to post basically a welcome or an intro. I want to get to know you all. This sucks because I'm not going to be face-to-face -face with you all trying to put a name with a face. I want to know what you guys are doing, where you're at in school as far as like, are you a freshman, are you a senior? Are you getting ready to graduate? Are you getting ready to go to PT school? Are you looking into athletic training? Whatever you're majoring in, I want to know what it is. I want to get to know you guys, okay? So be looking out for that assignment. It's not worth any points, but just do it for me, okay? Other than that, that's all I've got today, guys. I um, hope you all have a happy day and this is the craziest stuff I've ever been through, but uh, we'll get, we'll get, and I hate saying we'll get through it because everybody always says, oh, we'll get through it. It's like, we're going to take it week by week and we'll go from there, okay? Um, obviously, I'm going to make a little joke. You see that I stutter a lot. That's my bad, all right? <clears throat> but other than that, we will, uh, I'll be posting that video on Thursday. So if you guys have any questions or comments or need to email me in accommodations or anything like that, just let me know. My emails are up there and be looking out for that intro to athletic training on Thursday, and then I will also post that little intro. Give me an intro about yourself, okay? Thank you all. I will see you next time.